I wonder, though, if you ever feel you might have phrased some of your statements differently to avoid some of the controversy that has come your way. Well, you know, Alan, first of all, I never want to play the victim with the press. You know, I really don't, because I think most journalists really do try to get it right. Uh, but it's easy, as you know, to take, you know, quotes, my greatest hits from years yeah. past, and, and not put the context around them. And, uh, for example, you know, I am not an anti-Semitic person at all. I have a Jewish friend in New York who called me yesterday. She said, I don't understand this. She said, you know, I don't believe the New Testament like you do, but I realize you're simply teaching what the New Testament says. Did you say once that Catholic, Roman Catholicism is satanic? I, I never used the term satanic. What I did point out was the fact that, first of all, all of us who are Christians used to be a part of the Catholic Church. I mean, it was the Church. But over a period of time, corruption entered into the Church. In fact, it became so corrupt that a Roman Catholic priest named Martin Luther led a Reformation. And I believe today that there are millions of Catholics who are going to be in heaven because of their relationship with Christ. I work with Catholic priests in our community. Uh, we march together on the pro-life issues. You you know, I, I think there are millions of Catholics that are in heaven. Right. Uh, Mormonism, you said, uh, Islam is from the pit of hell, and that yes. obviously upset. Now that one, that that one, they actually got right out. <laughs> well, uh, but yeah, doesn't that, know, doesn't that wouldn't that sound bigoted to some people? Sure, it would. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, I'm glad you brought up President Obama. You know, I was on CBS last night, CBS Sports, and they said, well, you said Obama was the Antichrist. I said, I've never said Obama is the Antichrist. In fact, I've said just the opposite. I said President Obama is not the Antichrist. Now, I have gone on to say that I believe some of his policies right now will pave the way for what the Bible terms as the future world dictator, but that's a political judgment that some of those policies would do so. I've never impugned the fact that I believe the president very well is a, is a professing Christian, a Christian, but I don't think some of his policies are Christian. But I would never label him as the Antichrist. Well, the, you're kind of saying he's paving the way for the future reign of the Antichrist, aren't you? Right. And, and I, I actually went into depth in talking about that to my church. I was preaching from the Old Testament book of Daniel, Daniel 7, that deals with the Antichrist. And one thing that, that the Bible says is he will be able to usurp rights and there'll be no rebellion. And I said, as we see government, you serve more and more rights, people will get used to that idea. Now, again, you don't... 